not easy to find a class where there isn't one answer to a problem. In this class, there are an infinite amount of solutions to any problem that we present to our students. I was interested in the class because I just, all I understood was that you're building things, right? And that's what I love to do. So I didn't, I wasn't really expecting that that art's part of the, the class, but I liked it now that I took it. So I signed up for this class because Mr. Withero, I had him last year. He was awesome, so I wanted to see that again. And it's a full year honor science course credit, which is great to get some more science credits just to get to college. Students are building, they follow the engineering design model. So first, like we try, we made a prototype and we, like I tried to just see how it would work and how many gears I could put and would be better with like bigger ones or smaller ones. Go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my favorite project, actually the, the Cars one, because uh, I got like I kind of got to do it the way that I wanted to do it, rather than like having to do it a specific style in order to make it work well. So on the car one, we had more freedom because he just gave us the, like some parts and then didn't tell us really what to do. Just like make a car, so you kind of could just do whatever you wanted. Mr. Withero said we could use anything, and in the room to build our car, um, yeah. So we used robotics parts, wood, plastic lots of stuff. We needed to build a car and it needed to travel three meters as fast Go. as possible. The different groups are racing essentially and you're, you're graded on how fast it is and how good it looks. Yeah, aesthetic. So it's half and half. You could either build a car that's powered through batteries or solar panel. But yeah, like the, 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 things, the main structure we were making with metals, but that was too heavy and this wood's like lighter. So we decided to make with wood because it's lighter than the structure with metal and uh, would look better than the foam core outside. I think it is a very challenging course. There are a lot of disciplines addressed within this one course. I mean, they're coding, it's computer science, it's math, it's physics, it's art, it's design. There's a wide variety. It's a lot of creativity because you have to design everything that you do and then you have to make it look good too. This thing goes zero to 60 in seven minutes. I have never co-taught before, so this is my first experience working with another teacher every day in the classroom. It has been a really valuable experience for myself. I can't speak for Todd, but for me, absolutely. I think that we both bring a different set of skills. It's definitely an interesting combination that you don't get any in any other class. Like the different teaching styles definitely adds a different perspective to the project, so it helps keep you a little bit more balanced because it could just be like all science-based, but it kind of adds like a real world, world perspective to when you add the art component. We have been able to get to every student within a class period and service the students, which can be really difficult if there's one of me and 30 of my art students in one classroom. I just can't get to everybody. So that has been really valuable, and I think we both bring a lot of different strengths. Mr. Withero is more of like a laid back kind of like, you know, you can kind of explore how you want to explore it. And Miss L is definitely like a, she's like, she does that too, but she's kind of like, maybe you don't want to do that, you know? She kind of gives you a little bit more hints than he does, which is nice. And I think one of the toughest things for any student in this class would be teamwork and team building skills. And that, I think, is something that every student needs. Um, well, working in groups can be difficult sometimes, but... You, you like to brainstorm a lot beforehand, which definitely helps in getting our ideas all together into one. It's not something that you need to be good at engineering, or you don't need to be good at art, because I'm not good at either, but I I did okay in the class, so yeah, I did have fun. It, it's a fun class, it can be stressful sometimes, especially since most people leave their projects to the last minute, but don't do that. Three meters to win. Get there. Get there! Don't be yeah. over it! Go! Come on! Yeah. Ha, ha, ha.